From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with big updates about your fourth stimulus check of 2021. Great news. As the fourth stimulus check heads to the finish line, it's a two bill, two month, two step process. And in this recording, we go over the great financial news that broke today across Wall Street and Main Street that gets fourth stimulus to the finish line. It's the single biggest payout you're ever going to see in the history of this channel a stimulus check every month and every month starting the month of July. In this recording, we go over what happened today, minutes ago, what's happening yesterday, and what will happen tomorrow that impacts your fourth stimulus check. Then we turn to the fifth stimulus package, which heats up this September. It will change your life. It'll raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad benefits, and then tie you to inflation, which we learned a lot about today. Inflation numbers are going through the roof, and so too will be your benefits. Then we turn to the big money landing this week. Not five days from now, not five months from now. It's money landing today, this week, and across the board. I'm really excited for you on a big day. A big day with a lot of big news across the board. From Wall Street to Main Street, from my home to your home, let's get to it, starting right now, this moment, on Afternoons LLX. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Afternoons LA with the update about your fourth stimulus check of 2021. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, I go over that stimulus check that starts in the month of July and continues month after that. We compare and contrast how much is going to be paid out and what's at play, and we go over the breaking news happening today. A lot of breaking news, whether it's the PPI, the CPI, Disney earnings coming out minutes ago, that all impacts your fourth stimulus or those 14 governors and what they announced about FPUC. Yes, a lot of surprising developments just any minutes ago. They're in this breaking news report. Also, at the second half of the video, we go over fifth stimulus, which is absolutely game-changing. They'll rise your benefits up, especially if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits. I got the news of a lifetime in this recording, and then we turn to the breaking news. As millions of Americans get checks starting today in the mailbox, this is coming back from different sources, and there's other money for you to get immediately. And I'll give you the big details about money you have to do something to get between now and Monday. The click, the clock is ticking. So make sure you subscribe starting right now. This is LA Late, the channel that's changing history. The only 24 hours a day, seven days a week financial news channel that has all the details you need from Wall Street to Main Street, from crypto to stimulus that's changing Americans' lives. So subscribe to this channel. Also, like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. Let's get to the breaking news. Right off the bat, let's get to those stimulus checks, the four stimulus checks. How much? When are we going to get it? Who gets it? And why is the House plan so different from the Senate plan, but yet also so similar? The House plan provides more stimulus checks, but a smaller amount. Let's look and compare. If you're in the live chat, just after three o'clock on the West Coast, get ready to vote. And if you're in the pin, if you're in the comments watching this tape, get ready to vote in a second. So the House plan provides stimulus checks for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. That's a big issue as we sit here today because minutes ago the CDC announced guidelines which could signal we're ending we're ending the pandemic. So the remainder of the pandemic, let's say there's four more months, four months plus plus 12 months would be 16 months of stimulus checks. The senators will provide stimulus checks from July to December. But before you're ready to vote, guess what? Because the amount of the checks differs on a monthly basis. The House members provide $1,000 per month after the first month, which is $2,000. But the senators, their amount is unknown, but it looks reportedly like this. Wow, wow, wow. Word on the street says the senators are going to pay $2,000 a month over six months to viewers this channel for a single individual, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. Now, if you're on the live chat or you're watching this tape, drop in the comments, Senator House, Senator House, which one do you like? 
Senate or House. I'll check back with you and give you an update about that Senate or House vote in just a second, but here's what you need to know. When, how, and where would you get this money? Ultimately, I'm a reporter. I report the news. I don't make the news. I'm not your legislator, so I'm going over their representations. But the vote would be by July 4th, they represent, which means the stimulus checks would start in the month of July for the month of July, in the month of August for the month of August. This is incredible great news. Who gets it? You do. You get the fourth stimulus check. So if you got the third one, you would get the fourth one. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Railroad Benefits, you would get the fourth stimulus check. If you make less than $75,000, you would get the fourth stimulus check. Merry couple, double that amount. Household, four people or less. If it's four, quadruple the amount. Incredible great news. When and how would you get this fourth stimulus check? You would get it in the month of July and continue month after month. There would be no waves of stimulus checks. They can't do waves because it's a monthly payout. Is it income? No. Is it taxable? No. Is it taken out for child support? We don't know anything about that. Is the stimulus check the same amount for adult dependents as minor dependents and for everyone else? It is. Congratulations. That is your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 with a two-bill, two-month, two-step process. That's two-bill, two-month, two-step process that starts already and is already under reconciliation, drafting those subcommittees, and away we go. Later this recording, I'm going to go over the breaking news, the CPI, the PPI, the Disney earnings, the job reports Friday, what the president said about getting this done, what the president said about the corporate tax rate, and what's going off FPC, and why that has something and doesn't have anything to do with forced stimulus checks. I have all those details coming up in later this recording. It's all breaking just minutes ago. There's a big recording here. This is a 30-minute recording, and over the 30-minute recording, I'm going to have money for you throughout the recording. So get a pen and paper, get it ready. Also, stay to the very end of the recording, because I literally have thousands of dollars every minute in this jam-packed recording. All right, let me go give you a preview of what's happening in the second half of this recording. It's fifth stimulus. It's jaw-dropping. It's life-changing. What are they going to do? They're going to raise your benefits up to a big new number. This is a lifetime of change. And who is it for? You. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, this is you. This is Fifth Stimulus. Two bill, two step, two month process. Starting September and getting out the door by about November in your bank account. How much? What's got an issue? Stay with me. It's in the second half of this recording. All right, now let's jump into the core of this recording, which is the big money available right now. And it starts with $350 billion that's landing your city, counties, and states is available for you right now. And it's available for you. And as a Purple Hawk, you need to pounce. I told you in January, when I created the concept of Purple Hawk, that you need to pounce as a hawk because when money comes out, there's going to be what I also called a stimulus stampede, where people stampede for the money. And I also told you, third stimulus, you'll get a $14 stimulus check, but you also need to be ready to get to this five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. Guess what? Here it is starting right now. It's rent, it's utilities, it's mortgage assistance, and it's homeowners assistance. And if you got that pen and paper ready, which I hope you do, I'm gonna show you how much you get, where you get it, and right now. First for the rent. It is four to six months of rent generally and about $5,000 approximately for people who need rent assistance. And yes, if you need it, you need to get it. More about that in a second. Where do you get it? Sick place, six places. City hall, city housing authority. County hall, county housing authority. State hall, state housing authority. There you go. That's where you get it. City hall, city housing authority. County hall, county housing authority. State hall, state housing authority. Then you also want to get the rent and mortgage assistance and utility assistance. What are the keywords you say when you call up? Rent assistance because of COVID or the Economic Recovery Act of Biden. You do not use the word stimulus or stimulus package or stimul third stimulus or anything like the word stimulus. They won't know what you're talking about. Now, here comes the next surprise, and that is SNAP. It's incredible. It is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Call 201. Ask for the Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A family of four in Hawaii now is getting upwards of $16,000 a year. My goodness, we're only 10 minutes into this video. I had a guy do $21,000. This is incredible great news because Trump, with a six-month executive order, and Biden, with another six-month executive order, raised SNAP up 15% for one year. So now $16,000 in Hawaii for a family of four for one year, $5,000 for rent. We're doing very good. But here comes what I'm going to say in this video called tough love. 
Tough love refers to when I tell you, you got to do something. And I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to hear, but what about? But I want to just call them up. But I just want to do it my way. No, tough love means there's only one way to do it. And if you don't do it, you're not going to get the money. Tough love moment number one, which is the money for rent, utilities, uh, mortgage assistance, and homeowners assistance is in the third stimulus package, landing this week, last week, and next week, and never landing again. Gone. Gone. There is no talks of bringing it back under forced stimulus. And by all accounts, it will not be brought back on forced stimulus. Even more apparent is that the eviction moratorium and the mortgage forbearance are going away permanently in September. So I don't want you to think that you can sort of wait around and be protected by eviction moratorium in October, because not only will it be gone away, but there will be no more money for rent. So tough love moment. The money is landing. Go get the money now before the stimulus stampede gets it and before the eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance gets lifted. That's how we do it on this channel. All right, you deserve a donut. So let me give you not one, but two donut moments. What are donut moments? When money is coming to you and you don't have to do anything but eat that delicious donut. If only you could share some bacon with me. All right, donut moment number one. This is incredible great news. As thousands of dollars are landing in your hands, well, not your hands, but your bank account this week. Let's go over donut moment number one. States have been ordered to return thousands of dollars back to you by the federal government. Why are they returning thousands of dollars back to you? If they had you return money to them out of no fault to your own, this is the money coming back. Let me go over the details. The federal government, Department of Labor, Marty Walsh, former mayor of Boston, has been ordering states to return back to you money that they accidentally gave to you out of no fault to your own and asked you to return it back to them. Here's an example. A state may have sent you $2,000 extra unemployment benefits and then said, you know what? We had a computer malfeasance. We accidentally sent you $2,000 accidentally. Please return it back to you, back to us. And you returned it back to the state. Marty Walsh's Department of Labor says that was a mistake. You should not have been ordered to return that money back to them. It was not your fault. It's your money to keep. He has ordered them to return that money back to you. Congratulations. This money is coming from your state in the way in which you would normally get your unemployment benefits. Next. Second donut moment. We love our donuts, don't we? Sugar or, or, or chocolate glazed? Okay, donut moment number two is the federal government is landing money in your mailbox today, this week. And that's if you're a single filer and have filed a 2020 tax return. If you're a joint filer, it's coming later this month. How much money? Let's go over all these details. IRS is returning taxes you pay to IRS on your 2020 unemployment benefits, and it's thousands of dollars, and you don't have to do anything about it. Let me explain how much money you're getting. They're returning the part of the taxes that you paid that concerned your unemployment benefits. So for example, let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits last year. You filed a 2020 tax return, of which your bill was $5,000 of taxes to the IRS, and $4,000 of it was taxes for your unemployment benefits. You're getting a check back of $4,000 from the IRS. Watch the mail. It'll be in a wider beige envelope with a beige check in it, or it'll be in the direct deposit account that appeared on that 2020 return. All right, so now we get to some big tough love moments. Tough love moment number one is if you took out for federal taxes while receiving your unemployment benefits in 2020, then you need to file a tax return. And the tax return is due Monday. This is why this is tough love. It's due Monday. And so what do you have to do? If you took out, let's say, $100 a week over 10 weeks for federal taxes while receiving your unemployment benefits last year, you have to file the tax return. Request back that $1,000 from the IRS. If you don't, you're not getting it. It's as simple as that. Tough love. You have to do it this way. This is not money from your state. It's not state taxes. It's from the federal government for federal taxes. All right. Now we get to not one, but Four major tough love moments, and I hope you're excited because I'm excited. Get that pen and paper ready because these are notes you have to prepare and get ready to present your tax preparer. Tough love moment number one is if you are a parent of a child from age 17 to newborn, congratulations. You are getting $3,600 a month, $3,600 prorated per month for that child five to newborn or $3,000 prorated per month for that child 17 to 6, starting in the month of July. If two events occur, one, you make less than 75000 and two, IRS knows a child exists. IRS doesn't know the child exists. That's triggering my tough love moment number one. You never file tax returns. You never have to file tax returns. You don't file tax returns. 
and IRS doesn't know those children exist, here's what's going to happen. You got a five and a four and a three-year-old at home and IRS does not know those children exist according to your thought process, then guess what? Come July, when those children are entitled to $10,000 over the next six, over the next year, you're going to get a wonderful, delicious zero because you literally cannot do nothing. So you have to file that 2020 tax return, declaring those children as dependents and get that tax return on file. It's due on Monday. That's if the IRS does not know those children exist or does not know those children are with you, you have to get that tax return on file. Otherwise, you will not get anything in the month of July. You will literally get zero. Next, if you're a parent of a child but have not listed that child on prior tax returns and do file tax returns all the time, you absolutely have to get that 2020 tax return on file. If your most recent tax return was 2019 and it didn't list the child, perhaps because the child was not born or perhaps the child was on someone else's tax return, you have to get the 2020 tax return on file by Monday that lists that child with you as your dependent. Otherwise, you're not getting the check for them. And if the check is going to someone else, you're not going to get the check from that other person. And if the IRS doesn't know the child exists because it was just born in the last year, the child won't get anything. Finally, the tough love moment number three is if you made over nine, uh, over $100,000 a lot two years ago in 2019, but in 2020, you didn't have a good year. You made $40,000, for example. Guess what? IRS is not going to send you a penny for the children's check if you don't file the 2020 tax return. Why? Because they're going off the most recent tax return you have on file, which is the 2019 tax return. The 2019 tax return shows you ineligible for this money for the children, so you have to get that 2020 tax return on file that shows you're eligible. All right, tough love moment number four, which is if you're missing a first stimulus check, a second stimulus check, a third stimulus check, or a member of your household, let's say your daughter got her check, but your son didn't get his check, you got to file that 2020 tax return, tough love moment by Monday, and request that missing stimulus check. You see what we're doing here? Yes, you got to do all these things now. Here's what important message. And no matter how many times I say this, I still see someone in the comments say, but I don't have to file tax returns. I want to speak right to that person. If you're watching this right now and you're thinking this back in the back of your head, listen and watch me. If you don't make enough money to require you to file a tax return, or you're not on benefits and you don't have to file a tax return, that's fine as to you. But if you have a five-year-old, four-year-old, and three-year-old at home, and Iris does not know about those children, you categorically, 100%, double underline, triple exclamation point, will receive $0 instead of $10,000 in July because you did not file a tax return. IRS requires you to file a tax return to get the money for the children if they don't know the children exist. It's that straightforward. And the tough love moment is that it's due on Monday. Don't play games with this. Get the tax return on file. And now you see, if you're going to the tax preparer, take those notes as you've seen for this video. If you have to request missing stimulus checks, list a child, get some unearned, uh, get some rebates back from IRS of some prior withdrawn from unemployment benefits or anything else, you need to tell all that to the tax preparer and make that list to make sure it's all included. Incredible great news across the board. The important thing that I'm very excited for is that you're watching me now. You're watching me now before the deadline is lapsed. Because understanding this is money that you're owed in a few weeks from now. But if you don't do this now, you can't get it then. And you can't fix it then either. And what I expect is going to happen in July is that viewers from other YouTubers who have been telling false information or incomplete information over the last few months are going to wait back for July for a check to land, and then it won't be there. They won't know where it is. And then they'll come over here and say, well, how come I didn't get my check? And I said, were you a viewer of mine back then? No. Did you do the tax return? No. You can't fix it in July. You can't fix this later on. You have to fix it now. And with that, if you need money for rent, utilities, homeowners assistance, SNAP, internet, or anything like that, reach out to the volunteers. They're here to help. They're on the community page at news.la.com forward slash community. You find that link in the description to this video and also in the pinned comment. It sends you to the web page that has a picture of a, of a bunch of cats on the top of the page. Reach out to them. They can help you for any of those items. They cannot provide you tax advice or tax assistance or anything about unemployment benefits, but everything else, rent and utilities, they can help you. And here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back in six seconds with big news about four stimulus, four stimulus checks, what happened with Wall Street today that impacts the other four stimulus items, 
and fifth stimulus for that SSI reform. Stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons LA with incredible big news on your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. Big updates about this stimulus coming up later in this recording and the big money landing in your hands this week. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. This is LA, the most comprehensive, the only 24 hours a day, seven days a week financial news channel. I want you part of this family. Subscribe this very moment. Also like this video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Boy, Force Stimulus has Force Stimulus Relief and also Force Stimulus Checks. And today, some of the items that are not the checks got incredible pushback. I'll be going over those details in a second. But here's what you need to know about checks. Last Friday, this Monday, and then on Tuesday, the president had no less than five press conferences where he said, get it done. This is incredible great news because head of the Democratic Party, the president has the biggest megaphone and he's urging his Democratic leaders who are in the Senate and the House to get the fourth stimulus to the finish line. It's a two bill, two month, two step process and his urging to get it done is incredible great news. But even bigger great news was when he said three key words, corporate tax rate. Corporate tax rate is incredible great news because the Democrats, the Democrats who are writing the legislation, were pushing back because they were worried the president was too high on the corporate tax rate. It's currently 21%. He was at 28 to 29%. They said meet in the middle. He said deal, done. So this is incredible great news for your fourth stimulus, which is going to the finish line. Now, on the opposite side of the spectrum, I got to go over with you the other items of forced stimulus. In this recording, I've already told you that eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance are going away. I also said that other items of stimulus could be going away as well. And what do you need to know? First, today and yesterday, the CPI and the PPI number came out. Consumer price index and producer price index. What are they about? They're about inflation. And what was Wall Street expecting? 3%, 3.5%. What did it come in at? 6% and higher? Are you kidding me? This is through the roof. Last Friday, the jobs numbers came in, and the jobs numbers showed that there were more jobs than Americans, and that Americans are not taking jobs. What's going on? Well, my predictions for you for the remainder of the four stimulus items, not the checks, came to fruition. I told you that ex you should expect every state in which the governor is Republican to end FPC immediately. And now 14 states and earlier today, and presumed by the end of this day, nearly every state that is has a Republican governor will end FPC months earlier than September. Why? Because their notion is that people are not getting back to work and staying on unemployment. This is the casualty of these of these economic numbers. Now, what you need to know is that these economic numbers don't impact you directly for forced stimulus. They don't impact you for forced stimulus because the great news is that 
while gas prices have gone up and then while the CPI shows the highest increase since 12 years, the great news is that it actually helps stimulus checks because stimulus checks is a different instrument with a different mindset. But when we look at instruments that concern unemployment benefits, they are going to be the casualties of these economic numbers over the days to come. All right, let's turn to the incredible great news about fifth stimulus. And boy, I am really excited for you about fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus is in September, and it's a two-bill, two-month, two-step process, just like fourth stimulus. But what's very exciting about it is it changes people's lives forever. What are they going to do? They're going to increase the benefit limits, then add the asset limits at a higher rate, then remove the inf- then add the inflationary benchmark, remove the income exclusion, and then remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over all the incredible details before I cut back more to force stimulus. Okay, what are they doing? You. Yes, you. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, I'm talking about you. And if you're on multiple benefits, I'm talking about you as well. They're going to raise your benefits up to a big new number. Congratulations. Then they're going to tie you to inflation. So gone is COLA. Your new benchmark will be inflation. So you don't have to worry about the CPI, the PPI, whether it's 4% or 6%, because ultimately, if inflation goes to the roof, your benefits go to the roof. Then they're going to remove the asset cap that dates back to a 19 days law that says you can't stay on benefits and still receive uh, more than $3,000 in your bank account. And they're going to remove the income cap, which means if you want to work, you can't work. Now, you'll be able to go out and make $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 a month if you want and still stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty. Love will win. Marriage penalty has penalized people who have been married and and has blocked people from getting married because they don't want to suffer the marriage penalty. Now, love will win because you will be able to marry your lifetime partner and not suffer the marriage penalty. That's Fifth Stimulus Update of 2021 today. It's in September, a two-step, two-bill, two-month process. You would see the benefits hit around November. Now, what also is important to know is that the day was filled with news across the board. Quick news that I want to give you the updates on. First, the CDC lifted its mask mandate, saying that if you're fully vaccinated, you do not need to wear a mask in public or indoors. In California, the last 24 hours, the governor of California has lifted the mask mandate effective June 15th. No more masks. Business is completely open. We are out of the pandemic, a way to go. This is important when looking at forced stimulus, because when is the House plan going to consider the end of the pandemic? Very interesting point here. And then, boy, Disney earnings just came in minutes ago. And what did Disney's earnings say? The Disney's earnings were a blowout, coming in at 79 cents a share compared to 27 cents. But revenue was a miss. Ooh, we're going to see the reaction to that across the board. We also learned that Colonial Pipeline had to pay ransom. Ransom hijackers had to pay the hijackers or the, the, um, the people who made the security breach a ransom payment to get back online. Really surprising across the board. And meantime, while the, while the Dow was down substantially yesterday with major trading, it traded up today and rebounded nicely. Many believe there could be a further correction in the markets in the next weeks to come. I'll be tracking that, and you will as well. All right, let's go back to forced stimulus, because forced stimulus is very fascinating in light of what's going on with CDC today. One of the things you're hearing for the very first time on this channel today and in this recording right today for the very first time is how many more months is left to the pandemic. When the House plan talks about the remainder of the pandemic plus one year, well, the question is, when is the pandemic over? If the CDC plan suggests that you can go indoors without a mask if you're vaccinated, is the pandemic over now? And would that mean we're only going to get 12 checks from the House? Or is the pandemic over four months from now or three months from now? Then when we look at the Senate plan, they provide a provision that starts from they, they are looking at July to December. So they're not focused on when the pandemic's over. And they're also focused on a bigger cash infusion. They want to get you more up to date faster on your bills than having you sit around and get a slower trans fiction over a longer period of time with the House plan. Here's how it differs. For example, let's say there is four months four months left of the pandemic. That would be 16 months of stimulus checks from the House, which would be about $16,000, $17,000, but it would take you 16 months to get it, whereas you could potentially get $12,000 a month in just six months from the Senate plan. Very interesting across the board. And what you need to know is that 
Wall Street is certainly looking at why the economic data from Friday is where it is. Today, we started with Amazon reporting that was hiring 75,000 new employees. So if you want a job, Amazon's hiring 75,000 people on top of the half million it hired last year. Amazon is paying $18 an hour plus a signing bonus, plus more money on top of that. So they're trying to get people in the door. Yesterday or two days before or earlier this week, we learned from Chipotle offering $100,000 to store managers. So they're trying and they're looking to they're just looking to hire people across the board. Last Friday, Domino's reported it was Papa John's was reporting it was trying to hire 20 thousand store managers. So there's a real labor demand problem where people are not getting off of benefits and going back to work and taking job offers. And ultimately, that has nothing to do with your stimulus checks. That's the great news. That has nothing to do with stimulus checks. It has everything to do with FPUC, which continues to be a casualty today, to yesterday, and will continue to be a casualty all week long. Potentially, other items of fourth stimulus or fifth stimulus could be casualties. But at the moment, stimulus checks are a total different mindset. They have to do with your debits, your account balances, things that are past due. It has nothing to do with whether you have a job or not. It's that you're behind on your bills. And that's why, ironically, some of the states, Republican states, where they're telling people to get back to work, are also sending out stimulus checks. That's the mindset that stimulus checks solve your problems, not unemployment benefits. It comes on the news that Gavin Newsom, governor of California, is also sending out stimulus checks to millions and millions of, of, of Americans in the state of California. Incredible great news across the board. And I also have more great news for you in two hours from now. As Evenings LA returns, I hope to see you then. It's in two hours from now, Evenings LA. And then after that, the top crypto investments of 2021 returns. I got big news. Thank you for making that a big new hit show on this channel. With that, make sure you subscribe. This is LA, and I want you to be part of this incredible movement across this channel. Also, like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Park, Purple Hour, or Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more. Thank <laughs> you.